Para is a note-taking system which keeps you organized and productive. It's split into four parts, which stand for projects, areas, resources, and archive. Projects are things that you're working on actively. This could be personal or professional. Areas are categories within your life or within your work, which require your regular maintenance. Resources is a bit like your personal database where you can store information that you found useful. This could be through videos, articles, podcasts, and so on. And finally, archive. This could be anything you don't immediately need, but it's still useful to have just in case you need to find it in the future. Now here I have a blank OneNote open. The first thing we're going to do is create a new notebook. So simply select this drop down and press add notebook. And then select where you want to save it. I'm going to go with this PC and I'm going to simply type in para and create a new notebook. Now, as you can see, that's gone ahead and created our new notebook, which is called para. Now imagine this as your personal book and within that you've got different chapters or sections. So we're going to go ahead and create four different sections and yep, you've guessed it. They will be called projects, areas, resources, and archive. So here we have our four areas created. Now, if you want to change the color, you can easily do so by right clicking section color and you can change it to whatever you like. Now under each one, we're going to create our pages. If I go on projects, I'm going to start listing all the projects I'm working on. For example, this could be YouTube and then I'm going to add a page on the right hand side. I'm going to call this website. It could also be personal stuff like home, decor and so on and so forth. Now within each one, you can add whatever you like. So add text here. And the other cool thing is you can select anywhere on the sheet and add a to do list. So action A, action B, so on and so forth. And again, you can do whatever you like within these pages. It's your personal space and you can create whatever you like. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same in areas. So areas is stuff which requires your regular maintenance. So this could be, for example, my health goals, it could be my finances. So let's say finance tracker. And again, you can add information here. So areas is something where you will regularly update it. This could be habit trackers, your monthly goals, so on and so forth. And then moving on to resources, here is something where I want to show you something interesting. So let's say I have different categories. So let's say I've got podcast as a resource. Next page I'm going to create is, let's say, the name of the podcast. So name of podcast A could be whatever you like. And then on the right hand side, if you select the name of podcast, you can create a sub page. So within the podcast category, you've got all the different podcasts where you've got resources and inspiration from. And you can do the same again for, let's say, books. And then you can create different subcategories for different books as well. So again, it's a nice and tidy way to keep everything organized. And then finally, we've got the archive section. And the good thing with OneNote is you can actually drag things directly into the archive. So let's say I've completed my home decor project. I'll select that and then drag it into the archive folder. And then as you can see, it's automatically come within the archive. So this is information that I don't need right now, but it's useful to have as a reference for the future. So there you have it guys, a really simple way to create a power system within OneNote. Again, you can make this as aesthetically pleasing as you like, but the main thing is that you've got a system and a structure for all your content and all the projects you're working on.